Hello guys! Today I will speak about handguards for AK and rifles based on AK. B10M handguard, B10U and B10L. As you see that are short handguards for AK, I will also make a review about long handguards in nearest future. Today I will speak about handguards, uh, their characteristics in comparison with each other and show you how to install them on a rifle. My name is Anastasia. Let's have a look on the handguards. All three handguards are milled products made of aluminium D16T and the main difference between them are side and bottom rails. B10M handguard has side picatinny rails and bottom picatinny rails that are milled rails and their advantage is that they will never unscrew or fall off. It is very reliable. The weight of B10M is 183 grams. The choice of the handguard depends on the needs of the user. Some users do not need side picatinny rails. For them we made a modification B10U handguard. It has a milled bottom picatinny rail and side basis rails. Basis rail is designed not only to lighten the handguard but also to mount additional accessories directly on the handguard like additional picatinny rails of different sizes, hand stoppers, sling mounts and so on. I have a video on this channel about accessories for basis rail. I will leave a link to this video in the description. The weight of B10U is 129 grams. Finally, the lightest sport variant B10L. It is included into Sport 1 and Sport 4 kits, but also can be bought separately from those kits and used separately. It has basis rails on its sides and its bottom. And this handguard is lighter than the regular handguard. Let me demonstrate that. Here is a regular plastic handguard. It weighs 122 grams. You might say, I have a screen here, okay, I remove that. Without it, it weighs 98 grams. And aluminium handguard weights 85 grams, lighter than the plastic regular handguard. A few words about handguard installation process. It is prohibited to file the handguard. The correct way of installing it is to take a hammer, some sort of metal spacer and hammer the handguard into the rifle. It is done this way because different rifles have a bit different sizes. And one of the purposes of the handguard is to create a position for different devices and you want those devices to hold zero. As soon as you start filing, it starts wobbling and they don't hold zero, so don't do that. When you hammer it, the handguard takes the shape of your exact rifle. Yes, it takes some power to do that, but it is very, very reliable, so don't file do like me. The first thing you need to do is to disassemble the rifle, take off the regular handguard and start installing our handguard. B10M, B10U and B10L are installed the same way. The only special thing is that B10L has this little pin in the front part. You do not hit it directly. Hit on the sides of it. I will install B10M handguard. I put it on a regular place of the handguard. Put a handguard retainer on the top of it. And after that I need to hammer the handguard into the rifle. I can either hit the handguard retainer itself, but it's better to use some sort of metal spacer. Sometimes it is needed to use some more power to heat it inside, so it will be more comfortable and convenient if you ask for a helping hand, friend, wife, your babushka, anyone who is willing to help you and to hold the rifle. So 
I will call for a helping hand and hammer the handguard into the rifle. It fits close the lever. After the handguard is installed, you can assemble the rifle. Put on the gas tube, the upper handguard. B10M, B10U and B10L handguards are compatible with B19 upper handguard and B19N upper handguard. B19N is lower than B19. They are also compatible with B33 dust cover and B22 rear sight rail. If you need to remove the handguard from the rifle, you should do the following. First of all, don't forget to open the lever. After that, take some sort of spacer, so do not hit the handguard directly. Take a spacer, there is a ledge right here, put the spacer on this ledge and knock it out. There is one more way to do that. There is an opening right here, put a spacer or a screwdriver, for example, in this opening and hit it. You can read more information about our products on our official website en.zenitko.ru. Also, our official partners are stated on this website. We never sold any licenses to anyone to manufacture our products, so our original and legal products can be bought only from those partner stores. See you in next videos and goodbye!